Yes. So we will be back here in May 2025. Uh, as a Human Rights Commission, we are satisfied on how things went today. The respondent sought to rely on a technical issue to split uh, the case. We thought that would be a delay on the matter. You will remember that the Equality Court makes provision for expeditious hearing of issues. The technical issue that this video is 14 years old and therefore you know, time has lapsed and, and that we have delayed the matter. As a Human Rights Commission, we opposed to that uh, separation of issues. So we are happy that the matter will be heard as one uh, in May. We really wish to, you know, uh, without going to the merits of the issue because the issue is uh, sub judicare, we wish to remind South Africans of three things. <clears throat> the first thing is that, you know, uh, on this issue, even though the video was made 14 years ago, the harm is ongoing. In 2024, this issue has caused collective trauma to South Africans and other people living in South Africa. The harm is ongoing. The respondent has not atoned. The respondent, in fact, sticks by what they said. Therefore, there is no apology. The harm is ongoing. And therefore, the issue of prescription and timing does not come up. The second thing that we wish to remind South Africans is that it is settled law that the use of the k word is prescribed. There is no, you know, uh, cases where you can use a k word and say it's artistic expression. It can never be artistic expression. It can never be used as hyperbole. So, therefore, as the Human Rights Commission, we really used to emphasize to South Africans that the use of the K-word, the C-word, the M-word when it comes to, you know, sexual minority and so forth, there's no context that will really uh, make it okay. And lastly, we really wish to, you know, remind South Africans that third is into democracy. It is time that we learn to live with one another, you know, offensive language, harmful language, discriminatory language, there's no place for that. And as a Human Rights Commission, we will carry out our mandate by going after anyone who seeks to perpetuate harmful language, uh, hate speech, and so forth. You would have seen that last week we instituted a case against Mr. Liebenberg uh, on the same issues. You will recall that there was an issue that we also instituted against uh, an EF, EFF councillor in Pretoria. So really, as a Human Rights Commission, we stand ready to comment on these issues to educate the public, but if there is no atonement, we stand ready to intervene by going to court.